Hello all friends welcome to another exciting episode where we'll explore a topic crucial to our financial stability. Today we're going to talk about something that affects many without us even noticing it, habits that rob us of money. We're constantly looking for ways to improve our lives, but sometimes, to do that, we first need to identify and address the habits that are holding us back. In today's episode, we'll uncover four common habits that, without us even realizing it, are draining our finances. Before we jump into the nitty-gritty, remember to subscribe, like us if you find the information useful, and share this video with friends and family who could also benefit from these tips. So if you're ready to take control of your finances and learn how to eliminate those harmful habits, let's dive into the fascinating world of smart financial decisions. Habit 1. Live Beyond Your Means Let's begin our journey to better financial health by identifying the first habit that robs us of our money. And this is nothing less than living beyond our means. We've all fallen into the trap of spending a little more than we have at some point. Maybe a small loan to cover expenses before payday. Sounds harmless, right? But over the years, this practice is one of the main reasons many people find themselves trapped in seemingly endless debt. We live in a world where the possession of material things is often perceived as a measure of success, who doesn't want to show off a new outfit, a fancy cell phone, a flashy car or a beautiful house. The problem arises when we insist on having these things, even when our income doesn't support it. And when we lose our job, it seems like the world crumbles around us. If you find yourself in this situation, I urge you not to wait until it's too late to kick this detrimental habit. It is amazing how we focus on the desires of the present and forget the future consequences. The key to overcoming this habit is to disengage ourselves from the expectations of others and focus on making wise use of our money. Remember, if you aspire to live in your dream home, travel and enjoy comforts, it is essential to seize the present, work hard, and make sacrifices. But do so with the goal of enjoying all of this in the future, while maintaining your financial freedom. Think about this phrase, to be an entrepreneur is to live a few years of your life as no one else wants to, so that you can enjoy the rest of your life as no one else can. Now, let's see how we can tackle this habit and avoid falling into the financial trap. Habit 2, Buy What You Don't Need A few years ago, I struggled with this habit too. I would always find an excuse to buy a new dress, a pair of shoes or a fancy handbag. Whether it was for a birthday party, a wedding, dinner with friends or college presentations. My closet wasn't that full, but still, I often found myself with nothing to wear. Slowly, I realized how much money I was wasting on things I barely wore. I decided to make a drastic change and left only what I really liked. Surprisingly, I haven't bought clothes for over a year now, and the best part is that I always have something to wear. Now, it's your turn. I encourage you to search your home for all those things you rarely wear or even touch. It can be books, clothes, shoes, ornaments, even utilities like cell phone plans, cable, movies and an internet. I know people who pay for channels they never watch and others who have internet on their cell phones, even though they already have it at home and at work. These are all unnecessary expenses. Let's talk about useful and necessary things. Necessary things are those that are essential to live, like food, and to develop our work, like a good camera for a photographer. On the other hand, the useful ones complement our needs, facilitating tasks, such as a juicer. Remember, small expenses add up to considerable amounts. Amounts you could use to reach your goals. So, reflect on your purchases, keep only what is truly valuable and useful, and watch your savings grow. Habit 3, Impulsive Purchases Can undoubtedly destabilize our finances, impulse buying. This habit can lead you to buy things you don't really need, all because of discounts, promotions, or tempting advertisements. You may have experienced it, you walk into a store without a clear plan and leave with items you never intended to buy. Also, if you have a credit card, you're likely to spend money you don't really have. This habit is closely related to the previous ones, because with impulse purchases, we often end up with things we don't need or rarely use. But how can we reduce this dangerous habit for our pocketbook? In the next video we will share effective ways to save money on your purchases. Also, a simple but effective tactic is to write down every purchase you make. This helps you stay aware of your spending and evaluate if you really need that item. Another strategy is to sleep on it before making a purchase. 
giving yourself time to reflect can prevent impulsive decisions. And of course, one crucial tip, avoid buying anything on credit. Just because you haven't reached your card limit doesn't mean you should keep spending. These are just a few ways to deal with the habit of impulse buying. Everyone has their own strategy, such as repeating the mantra, I don't need it, mentally when entering a store. What will your approach be? Stay with us because, in the next section, we'll explore the latest habit that may be hurting your wallet. But first, share in the comments if you've ever fallen into the impulse buying trap and how you overcame it. Habit 4, Lack of Savings Habit Let's tackle the habit that can be a crucial obstacle to your financial well-being, the lack of a savings habit. How many times have we heard excuses like, I don't make enough money, or, life is too short to worry about saving? The reality is that many people live from fortnight to fortnight, always with a justification for not saving. But how can saving for your own and your family's well-being be unpleasant? Saving not only allows you to have a financial backing, but also gives you the freedom to invest in your personal development, start your own business or enjoy a well-deserved vacation. So what is the key to adopting this vital habit? First, let's demystify some of the most common excuses. Many people think they don't earn enough to save, but the truth is that saving is not about how much you earn, it's about how you manage what you have. Another common myth is the idea that life is too short to worry about saving. But wouldn't it be more liberating to enjoy every moment knowing that you're building a secure financial future? Now, I challenge you to think about your short and long-term goals. What dreams would you like to achieve? Saving gives you the tools to make them a reality. But how do you incorporate this habit into your daily life? Let's start with small steps. Set achievable savings goals, even if it's a small amount each month. Automate your savings so that it becomes part of your routine. Don't underestimate the power of small daily savings. Remember, every penny counts and can make a difference in the long run. And if you ever find yourself with extra income, consider putting some of it into savings. In the info box, you'll find links to specific videos about savings options that we've shared previously on. You'll find that there are many ways to fit the savings habit into your life. Before I conclude, let me ask a question. What's your bad habit that causes you to lose money? Share your experiences in the comments, we are here to help you and answer your questions. I hope you have found valuable information and are ready to take steps toward a healthier financial life. Let's remember the four habits, living beyond our means, buying what we don't need, impulse buying and, finally, the lack of a savings habit. Each of these habits can have a significant impact on our finances, but there are also solutions and strategies to overcome them. Before you go, I want to remind you that sharing your experiences and challenges in the comments can be the first step towards change. The Finance for All community is here to support you and answer any questions you may have. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss future content related to personal finance and economic development. Like us if you found this information useful and share this video with those who may need a financial boost. We say goodbye for now at Finance for All. But don't worry, we are working on new interesting content to help you reach your financial goals. Until next time and remember, every little step counts in your journey to a more prosperous and balanced life.